work so hard for so long. Making little changes for big effects. And pour your soul into your projects. Only to read that simple line. We're sorry. It is in those words that it truly hits home. You've been rejected, unwanted, cast aside. And that hollowness sinks in, rejected. But rejection is not failure. Rejection is hard. And that goes without saying for most of us. It is not a pleasant feeling. And for the most part, a lot of people try to avoid being rejected in order to avoid hurting their feelings. It's a common mistake that most humans make and it doesn't make it easier with each rejection that we receive. But staying in your comfort zone doesn't get you far in life. And in order to succeed, especially in the writing industry, you have to keep pushing forward. Lately, I've been dealing with a lot of rejection. Last year, I tried querying and received 14 form rejections in that process with no guidance and nobody to take the time to explain what exactly was wrong with my work. I got a little sad about it because it's so hard when you're trying and you think you're doing well and no one wants to take a chance on you. More recently, I've submitted a couple proposals for other projects and other ways of bettering myself only to be faced with more rejection. But I'm still here and that's the point of this video. Rejection is not something that we can hide from and it's not something that we should be ashamed of because our rejections make us better writers. I would not be able to get rejected if I didn't write something in the first place, which means I have something to be rejected. And that is a big step from doing nothing and being scared of even starting. It's never easy to sit across a screen and feel like someone that you don't know who doesn't know what you are holding beyond the first few pages thinks of you and it feels unfair. But there are so many people in the world trying to be in your exact position that aren't able to get there. There are so many people in so many different areas of this path that we can't compare ourselves because looking at one person and considering us like them is like comparing apples and oranges. There is no true comparison because we are completely different and unique. And because we are different and unique, that a lot of times is why we get rejected because our uniqueness might not drive with someone else's. And agents are people too. They are not gonna take the time to put a lot of effort into something if they don't feel like they're connecting with it. And that's sometimes the hardest thing to grapple with is that something that you connected with on your soul level doesn't connect with someone else. But that's life and moving forward, is really the only thing that you can do. The longer we stew in our negative emotions, the harder it becomes to tear ourselves away from it. And that usually comes with being stagnant. When we're stagnant, we again can't grow. And we're more likely harming ourselves and our creative nature if we're festering in those negative emotions rather than channeling that energy into something positive and creative, something that may work for us down the road and get us to where we wanna be. So for my word of advice on someone who has been rejected constantly over the past year, keep moving forward. It is not always easy to do that when you are upset and it's okay to be upset for that moment but you can't stay there and you have to keep moving forward. The more you write, the more practice you get, the more connections you make. And one day you might have that chance to prove to someone and they're gonna take a chance on you. But until then, you have no obstacles in your way other than yourself and you need to keep moving forward. That is something that I will tell myself every single day until I make it where I wanna be. And doesn't make the pain of that rejection go away initially, but it will. And it's just a day at a time. 
And for now, I have a lot of goals that I want to accomplish. Even if a publishing goal is number one and I want to get there one day, I have so many other goals before that. I want to write more stories. I want to share my stories. I want to make the most out of this community that I'm in. And I can do that with or without a publishing contract. And so that's what I'm going to do. I hope that if anyone watching this, you benefit from this little piece of knowing you're not alone. Rejection happens to so many of us all the time and a lot of people don't share about it. So just because you think someone might be successful doesn't mean that they are. And ultimately you shouldn't measure your own success by comparing yourself to others because success is internal and it's what drives you in the end of the day. I wish everyone the best of luck with everything they do and know that if you are feeling down, it's okay and I've been there, and I'm gonna be there more in the future. So, as everyone says, keep going, you're gonna succeed one day, one way or another.